Allen with AA Care Services. And I'm Helen Flores with AA Care Services as well. And today we want to talk about long-term care insurance. We often come into a home to assess an elderly person and the family will always say, and how do we pay for this? And that's one of the first questions we ask is, do you have long-term care insurance? Well, and if, you, if our seniors were fortunate enough to think about this back in the late 80s, early 90s and forward, then that was a smart investment because this is where we can help you stay independent in the home, yet have some support in paying for the services. In-home care, the non-medical side of home care, is a private pay scenario. So long-term care insurance comes into play, Helen, to help cover the expenses of that. Yes, and with long-term care insurance, there are certain qualifications that need to be met, and that word is ADLs. Or what does that mean? What does ADLs mean, ADLs Helen? ADLs means activities of daily living and was developed by a doctor back in the 60s mm. because health professionals were assessing activity tasks that people needed to perform every day, but there wasn't a term for it or they didn't define what are these activities that we need to perform every day. So like for example, when I get up in the morning, I get up, I get in the shower, I get dressed, I'll go downstairs, I prepare myself breakfast, uh, I take my medications, I can walk on my own, I can transfer on my own. So these are examples of activities of daily living or ADLs. So this physician defined the term ADLs and this is what they use now for long-term care insurance. Or if you're in the hospital or if you're in rehab, the healthcare professionals will assess you in terms of your functional capacity for ADLs. So I think what's important for you to understand is that there is criteria that you have to meet to activate your long-term care insurance policy. And we'd like to review six of the common ones that you'll see. Now each policy is different, some policies may only require two activities of daily living right. to be assisted yeah. with. Others require three. Helen, would you like to kind of go over the, the common ADLs that we see that need um, support for a, a long-term care policy to be activated? Yes. So bathing is uh, one of the activities of daily living. And you don't have to have someone perform the bath but it could be just as simple as supervision or assisting the person with the bath. Um, the next one would be dressing, mm -hmm. so assisting with dressing or performing dressing. Transfers, mobility, feeding the person, and then the elimination. So if there's incontinence issues, these are the six ADLs and usually the long-term care insurance will require assistance with two ADLs in order for you to qualify for long-term care insurance to pay. Sometimes three as well. That's true. And yes. so when you, you have to open a claim to get this started and there's some paperwork that is involved with that and then what will happen is your long-term care insurance agency will send out a nurse, a contracted nurse, to validate yes they really do need care with these activities of daily living and then also your primary care physician has to validate that yes, they could use some support, some assistance, and that could go from supervision to standby assist to hands-on support based on what the needs are of, of the potential client. Yeah, and Helen, you and I both have a lot of experience with long-term care insurance. Mm -hmm. So many times when we come into the home, the children do not understand long-term care insurance and the elderly uh, client has forgotten about their long-term care uh, policy. Mm -hmm. So we're able to help them, you know, to call the insurance company, to, um, to review the benefits, and then to help them to complete the claim and to submit the claim. Sure, yeah. and we'll even charge our services to this policy if that's how you choose to have payment received. Yes, yes. 